These are the kinematic formulas. You can only use these if the acceleration is constant. So a car moving forward with some velocity speeding up at a constant rate? Yes. Slowing down at a constant rate? Yes. Ball moving down a hill accelerating at a constant rate? Yes. Simple harmonic oscillator mass on a spring? No. For a simple harmonic oscillator, the acceleration is not constant, so don't use these formulas. X minus X knots the displacement. V knots the initial velocity. V is the velocity at time T, and A is the acceleration. At the peak height of a projectile, the velocity is zero for a split second. Is the acceleration zero at the top? No, the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared on the way up, at the top, and on the way down. And it's directed downward the whole way. How about when an object hits the ground? Is the final velocity zero? No, the final velocity right before it hits the ground is not zero. Don't forget that all these vectors can be positive or negative, so please don't forget the negative. For 2D kinematics, you have to analyze the horizontal and the vertical motion separately. If your initial velocity points upwards at some angle, you have to break that velocity up into an X component and a Y component. Then only use the Y components in the Y direction equation and only use X components in the X direction equation. Don't mix up the X and Y components into a single equation. In the X direction, the horizontal acceleration is zero. It's always zero for a projectile. That means the horizontal velocity stays the same the whole way. Vx is constant. So don't use kinematic formulas for the x-directed component in 2D kinematics. Only use distance equals velocity in the x-direction times time. The acceleration in the y-direction is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. That means the vertical velocity is always changing. That's why you've got to use the kinematic formulas for the y-direction. At the peak height, the velocity in the y-direction is zero. Is the acceleration in the y-direction zero? No, the acceleration in the y-direction is always negative 9.8 meters per second squared. The range formula can also be useful, but you can only use it if the vertical displacement is zero. In other words, you end at the exact same height that you started at. Graphing motion can be hard, but on a position versus time graph, the slope is the velocity. That means positive slope, positive velocity, you're moving forward. Negative slope, negative velocity, you're moving backwards. And if there's zero slope, you aren't moving because the velocity is zero. Any changes in slope on a position versus time graph means there's acceleration. Curvature is an obvious sign of acceleration. This graph tells you that the object started with constant positive velocity. Moving forward, it finally slowed to a stop. Starts to speed up in the negative direction and maintains negative velocity going backwards. Slows to a stop and stays there. The amount the object ended up from its initial position is the displacement. On a velocity versus time graph, the slope is the acceleration, so negative slope, negative acceleration. Positive slope, positive acceleration, and if there's no slope, the acceleration is zero, which means you're maintaining constant speed. You have to be careful on these graphs because negative acceleration does not necessarily mean you're slowing down and positive acceleration does not necessarily mean you're speeding up. In this case, the object starts off with some positive velocity and slows down to a stop, speeds up in the negative direction, and maintains constant negative velocity, slows down to a stop again and then speeds up in the positive direction and then finally maintains a constant positive velocity. If you're moving towards the time axis on a velocity graph, you're slowing down, and if you're moving away from the time axis, you're speeding up, regardless of whether your acceleration is negative or positive.